In this video, we're going to be talking about basic ME operation. An ME bus is the building block of any switcher. It allows you to create effects, compositions, and external feeds that are away from the program. With the G1, we can put it into HD or UHD mode. In HD mode, we have two ME buses with eight four function keys. These two ME buses can be split into four separate buses and we can use these keys as required across them. In UHD mode, we have two ME buses with four full function keys. And we also have an optional four graphic or soft layer keys as well that we can use. In addition to the standard keyer, each ME bus also has a dedicated clip transition keyer, which allows us to do animated clip transitions. So let's move to the desk now and I can show you how that looks. So I just set that up as a FM1 and 2 clip transition. And there you go. A really quick and easy way to create a sting. Now I'm going to take you through the different transition types that you can do on the desk. So we have mix. We just set it down here and then I can mix between the two. I can also use my auto transition um, button, which is set to mix, so that will mix like so. And then I also have wipe, which now if I use the auto transition, you'll see it's doing a very slow wipe. Um, and then I can create different wipes here. So this is the one I have set at the moment. If I double click wipe, it takes me into the menu screen for that wipe. And let's have a look at that. So if I want to make adjustments to that, I might want to put a border on it, for example. Then I can come down here into pattern mix, edge directions, and pop on a border. You can see I can change the parameters here. So I can make that a little bit narrower. And if I want to change the colour, for example, then I would go into Matte Adjust and click on Flat Colour and I can change the hue. And then when you've done that, you can just create a wipe snapshot down here so you can recall it easily just by holding down wipe and then clicking an empty space. And now you see that's the one we've just created. So if we toggle between the two, then you can see that's the one when I started and that's the one uh, which I've just made those adjustments to. And there's lots and lots of different types of wipes here. You also have a clock wipe, for example, beloved heart wipe, and then that wipe too. There's absolutely tons of different wipes. And as you can see here, along this sub menu. So spoil it for choice. As well as the inbuilt wipes, if you have the option for DME, you can also use the DME wipes here. So I'm just going to double punch that and then you can see we have a lot of different DME wipes and this just allows you to create more animated wipes with 3D transforms. So I've got some set up here. So you can see that one's really nice because it's actually using my utility bus um, where I've got an XVS logo um, set up. You can do that um, up here on this dedicated bus here. Um, so you see I've got utility 2 which is where it's set and I've got that set to my frame memory 3 which is where I have this XVS logo. Uh, another popular one here is page turns and these squeezes. We also have preset colour mix transitions. So if I double punch that. Now with this, we can either use this to mix through different colours. Um, so you can see I've got yellow set up there. A very popular thing is to mix through white. So for that, I need to just pop my luminance up. And now we're mixing through white. And you can see I can change the hue, the saturation, the luminance and choose any colour I want. And then again, just like with the DME white we were looking at earlier, I can also mix through my utility 2 bus 
and I've got that still set to my frame memory free, which is the XVS logo. So that's a really nice feature as well. Another thing I'd like to mention about this desk is that it has a really handy feature, which is a preview transition button. So I've got this set here. And so now if I want to just test the transition without putting it um, to air, then I can do that in my preview there. And you can see I've got it set to the preset color mix transition. So I can just test it out like that on my preview. Now this is set to be a one-time operation only. So once I've used it, you see it turns off. And so if I forget to turn it off, I don't have to worry about that. And then it won't affect my transitions that I'm using for real. I hope that's been useful for you and gives you a better understanding of the capabilities of ME buses on the XVS G1.